Hello everyone and welcome to New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today I'm going to show you how to stream on a TriCaster without the use of a plugin. TriCaster comes equipped with several easy to use plugins to stream to popular sites like for example uh, YouTube, Facebook, and more. But let's say that you need to stream to a site that doesn't have a plugin or you have to find a backdoor way to stream. TriCaster allows you to get the raw destination information and plug it directly into the TriCaster so you can stream your show. There's only a few little simple steps to follow, so let me show you how it's done, son! Alright, 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 here we are in the TriCaster 2 Elite Interface. And again, I'm going to show you how to stream to a CDN without having to use a plugin. So for example, let me go ahead and open up my streaming and coding section here by clicking on this gear icon. So in here on these new presets, we have different plugins uh, presets available for things like YouTube, for example. So if you go click on YouTube Live, for example, you could log into your account and stream that way and it makes it super easy. But again, let's say that we have a site that we're not going to, I mean, that we're going to that uh, doesn't have a, a, a preset on this list here. Uh, what you would need to do is do custom streaming for this, okay? So we'll go up to the top and click on custom. And when we open that up, you'll see that there's a couple of different things we need to put in here. So uh, for any, usually this is what's going on behind the scenes on the uh, the plugin side of things when you're, you're streaming to YouTube, Facebook, etc. What it's looking for is going to be the server address, uh, which is typically going to be an RTMP address. Uh, the stream ID, which could be just a collection of numbers or something simple. Uh, and then just the username and password. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to do this with YouTube because we all know uh, how to, you know, <laughs> what YouTube looks like, etc. cetera. Uh, and also, this is a, a convenient backdoor way of being able to stream uh, directly to your page if you want as well. Okay, so now every website's going to be a little bit different uh, for whatever they're have storing their uh, server addresses, etc. But uh, let's just go ahead and take a look at YouTube. So the easiest way to do this, the nice thing about, you know, on the TriCaster is we have a web browser. or We can look that up. So I'll click on web browser here. And let's go to YouTube.com. All right. Now I'm already signed into my account here. What I'm going to do is go to the top and click on create. And let's go to go live. And let YouTube Studio do its thing. Load up all the information that we need. Okay, so basically right now YouTube is waiting for me to start sending a feed uh, to it. So now there are the uh, four pieces of information you're going to need here. So the first one is going to be the stream the RTMP address here so the stream URL now sometimes this will be named different things uh, but basically what you're looking for for the address is going to be RTMP this is the big one right here okay so what I'll do is I'll just hit copy they have a convenient way of doing that here on YouTube and now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move this browser over I'm not gonna close it I'm just gonna leave it open and then click back onto my streaming panel here and we'll configure that by clicking on the gear icon and for the server address, again, on YouTube side, it said stream uh, URL. So we'll just go ahead and hit paste there. All right, let me move this over just a little bit. And let's go back to the web browser. Now, when I do that, it's going to open a new tab. But I, if I close that tab, I still have this open for us here. Okay. Uh, and then the next thing that I need is going to be the stream ID like that. So let's go ahead and hit copy. And we'll go back over here and put in our stream ID. All right, and then the next thing it's going to want is going to be the username and password. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and type mine in here uh, and blur it out so that y'all can't log into my account. Okay. All right. Okay. Cool. So now all I have to do is I've got the information in here. I've got the four pieces of vital information. Server address, which is the RTMP, uh, and then the stream ID. Sound like a broken record, I know, but I just want to make sure that, <laughs> that I get co cover this properly. Uh, and then the username and then the password. All right. So from here, let's go ahead and I'm going to 
go back over here. Let's close this and let's start streaming our show. All right, so uh, I'll go ahead and click stream. And you'll see that is up and running. The counter is running, which means that we are indeed streaming. So now uh, the nice thing about uh, on the YouTube side of things is I can go back into my web browser and I can check and see what it looks like. So again, close that tab and boom, there we go. There is my show. So I have my own little weather broadcast, boom. So you can do your show uh, directly from here uh, and stream to it just using those simple settings on the stream setting side of things. Now, a reminder again, every website is gonna have their information stored a little bit differently and sometimes they call it different things. But what you're really just looking for is your RTMP address, your stream ID or stream key, username and password, and that is it. Then all you gotta do is hit stream and you are good to go. So yet another effective way to stream to whatever CDN you're trying to work with. Now if you like this tutorial, be sure to subscribe to the New Tech YouTube channel at youtube.com slash newtechinc. For formal New Tech product training, check out New Tech University at newtech.com slash newtech u. And for more information about New Tech products and services, you can contact your local reseller or visit our website, newtech.com. Also, if you're a TriCaster operator, be sure to check out the 2022 TriCaster Director of the Year Awards at newtech.com slash T-D-O-T-Y to enter for a chance to win some really cool new tech gear. And if you're posting your work with new tech products on social media, don't forget to tag us using the hashtags new tech, TriCaster, or 3Play. We love seeing all the stuff that y'all are working on. I hope this tutorial has been informative, and I'll see you again soon for another episode of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.